Hello again. Welcome back. I am here again with my pigment colors uh, that I've been using in the last couple of videos. These are, as you know if you've watched them, these are um, no-name pigments, and I have no idea where I got them from. I got them when I was making soap, um, for making soap. And although I do still make soap, I don't color it anymore. I just make it for myself. Um, so I've got all these pigments sitting around, and I thought, why not try to turn them into something? So I mixed them with the Minwax Polycrylic. I added about a teaspoon of that to approximately a teaspoon of the powder. And then I added some Sargent. And this is an acrylic pearlescent mixing medium. I added some of that to it, which gives it a bit of a sparkle. And then I added my pouring medium, which at that time was Floetrol and water mixed about 50-50. So I do have, I did have to mix up a new pouring medium. So I have that. That's now just glue, Amazon Basics all-purpose white glue. And it's just mixed half and half with water. I do have a new white paint that I'm using for touching up my edges and stuff. This is again a Sargent, oh it says Elmer's, I don't know why I'm showing you that. <laughs> my same old bottle, but it's a Sargent Titanium White Acrylic Paint. And it has been mixed with um, the Minwax instead of the Polycrylic Minwax, Minwax Polycrylic, whatever, however you say it. Um, to thin it instead of water. So we're seeing it seems a little thicker in some spots and doesn't seem to be quite leveling out as much as I'd like. I might need to add a little bit more. Anyway, I've got a coat of white on here and the colors I'm using in my pigments are neon orange, neon yellow, um, what were the other two? One of them was a dark brown oxide, and the other one was an orange oxide. So, I'm going to stick with those four colors, because I've got a couple of pieces, and that'll, and well, I've got this paint mixed up, right? So I might as well, might as well use it. It's not colors that I would use very often. Um, I do have some deco art paint mixed up as well a little bit. I've still got some of that hunter green that I was using. Um, and I've got a little bit of the tropical blue that I was using. So, uh, I don't know if it'll be this painting or the next one, but I'll try to do something that uses those as well and see how the paints play together my homemade paint out of my pigments and the actual deco art paint so that'll be an interesting experiment I don't think we'll do that this time but soon that'll come soon I just want to blow a little bit of this because where I've got a few bubbles or a few lumps I just want to kind of let it even out a little bit so I think I'm not sure what I want to do with this. <laughs> I did two where I kind of did a line down the middle and blew it out. And these paints are kind of thin, so they do seem to work nicely for that kind of a Dutch pour. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll do a squiggly line down the middle. And then maybe I'll do two little puddles on either side. And then I may flood it a little bit. Um, we'll see. I can't wait to make these a little bit thicker. Um, I think I'll try that next time and do some dips with them. Um, I am really liking these pigments. I'm still I'm looking at the ones I did earlier today and the colors are just nice and vibrant and yeah, absolutely, absolutely happy. So I don't know how often I'll ever use a brown paint. <laughs> brown is not my color. 
I'm more of a bright color kind of gal. Anyway, um, this part takes a while, so I'll flip you over to some music, and I'll catch you at the end. Okay, so let's bring you down for a close-up on this lovely, lovely painting. It turned out, again, quite nicely. I am really liking those pigments as colors. It'll be interesting to see them when they've dried, of course. These are all still wet. So, anyway, it's my last night off before I go back to work, so... This will likely be my last painting for a little while, but I do have several videos lined up. I've been painting like crazy the last two days, so I'll get to editing some of those and get them posted for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, um, and I hope that your new year, your 2020, is off to a fantastic start. Bye now! So here it is all dry, and just look at the colors and patterns. I really, really like using that blower to blow these out, because look, I mean, look at that. You could sit and look at these for hours and find different little shapes and things. And <laughs> I just love that. And the colors are pretty fantastic too. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. And make sure that you like and subscribe and comment and share and all that because <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. Anyway, <laughs> have a great night. Bye.